esteemed and honored guests, welcome. Welcome to the beautiful union between Isaac and Courtney, a union witnessed by loved ones, friends, family, and the Creator. I want to thank all of you for coming here today to celebrate in this triumph of love. Love. Something I want to take a moment to talk about and acknowledge. Love and the metaphysical nature of love. We feel it despite its intangibleness. We hold on to it, we grasp it and clutch it closely in times of doubt and stress. It is our anchor, our rock through hardship. Love carries us through all. This ring symbolizes union, completeness, wholeness. As of today, you will no longer be I. We step through the threshold of we. These rings are symbolic in that nature. That you complete one another. Hold on to that. Closer in your heart. When I met you, I was not looking for love. I was not expecting to find it. But after a third date, I knew I would marry you. You're an amazing woman. Asking for your number and asking you to marry me was the two best decisions I ever made. I promise you that I will love and cherish you until the day I die. I know it will not be easy and we will probably need help from outside help along the way. There will be dark moments, but I will protect you and I will put our family needs above my own. There will be good times as well. And I am proud that you will be by my side through it all. I love you to infinity, hi Wen. Isaac, my lion. I know we haven't known each other for a very long time, but when you know, you know, and I know. People think we're crazy for doing this, but you are the love of my life, my soulmate, and my one and only. And I know life will throw us plenty of curveballs, the arguments and things we have to work through, but I know that together, we can get through whatever whatever life has for us. <laughs> and I'm so proud from this day on to be able to call you my husband. You have a good heart and I'm gonna fight for us now and for forever. Our relationship, our family, is my priority over my own needs. And I'm so looking forward to growing and changing and building a life with you. And then maintaining it afterwards <laughs> to stay forward. I love you, Mobetta, every day. You are my love, my lion. I'm yours. I'm so happy to be called your wife. Isaac. I do. Courtney. And I do. Then let this bond be so. Put a kiss. I now pronounce you husband and wife. Congratulations.
love about communication. For any of you will learn how to communicate with one another because it's not always easy. Sometimes you want to just walk away and not talk. But let those hot moments go and then come back and sleep. Never, ever, ever walk away angry. I mean, that's just building. Well, I, I just want to bless him. Uh, as a father, I just feel so proud of Isaac and, and, and just the fact that uh, now he's going back, just that he stepped out and uh, the family made for I think it's a great union together. And uh, I guess he said, just communicating is better. An awesome thing that Yassi and I were able to learn early on. We had a pastor that kind of took us under his wings and told us that uh, we had so many things that we uh, had in common. But the thing that we were failing to do was to communicate with one another. And especially when we got mad at one I get mad and I go, I just get so mad. You know, it's like two worlds colliding. And I wasn't used to having to not be able to walk away and he said you know it's okay you, you can walk away for a little bit and take that time to just reflect and and, and talk to god and just say hey what's the problem here and so many times we just found out that it was me that was the problem that uh, my stubbornness and hard headedness was getting in the way and then if i just uh, ease up and just soften up and not be so hard that uh, it'd be easier to communicate with my wife and to love her instead of just uh, you know thinking that I had to have a wife. And uh, I started doing that, loving her and just you know dying to myself. And uh, it just worked so much better. And uh, we just want to bless Courtney and Isaac and just want them to live long and have a, a prosperous life and to love the Lord. It's our heart's desire that they would know and love the Lord Jesus and our Lord Jesus Christ and serve Him. And, and Yasi found out that as we submit to God, to our Lord Jesus Christ, that He's in covenant with us, that He is the head of the relationship, and we just look to Him, and He brings us together uh, in everything that we do. And that's, that's our advice, is, is to love the Lord Jesus Christ and Him give your life. Thank you, Courtney, Isaac, congratulations. We are so thrilled with your marriage and we wish you the best of luck. My only advice is never go to bed angry. If you do, never wake up angry. Okay, love you guys and God's to both of you. Congratulations, Isaac and Courtney. Congratulations, Isaac and Courtney. Courtney and Isaac, um, I hear potentially come down those stairs, but I don't have many words of wisdom because I'm not married, but I would say that remember that you can't always be right as much as it pains me to say. Always be willing to compromise. Remember that the bigger picture is the love that you have for each other, the potential growth that will come from you creating a resolution to every problem and what you learn from that. Um, never go to bed angry. Always love each other more than you dislike each other and remember just to have fun and keep it interesting i love you guys congratulations isaac courtney congratulations i'm so proud of y'all i'm so happy i can be part of this moment you guys have the rest of your lives ahead of you you have the thing that everybody in life wants and that nobody's guaranteed it's yours cherish it i want to remind you as you guys go through this journey remember the bigger picture it's about you guys now. The only thing that matters at the end of the day is you and I. Remember that and hold that steadfast. And there's no such thing as 50-50. It's 100% every single time. You guys do that and there's nothing to worry about. I love y'all. Be happy.